One day, at a city called Alawi, the Buddha gave a discourse on the impermanence of life. He taught the following. Practice contemplating on your death. Reflect upon it mindfully at all times in this way. My life is uncertain. My death is certain. I will certainly have to face death one day. The Buddha told his listeners to strive to perceive the true nature of life. He explained. Just like one who is armed with a spear is prepared to face dangerous animals or an enemy. One who is armed with mindfulness of death should be prepared to face death. One who is prepared for death will leave this world for a good destination. Many people in the room could not grasp the essence of his teachings. Out of the whole room, only a 16-year-old weaver girl could understand the Buddha's discourse. After teaching the Dhamma, the Buddha returned to the Jetavana Monastery. One day, when the Buddha surveyed the world like he would every morning, he saw the young weaver girl in his vision. He saw that her karma was ripe to attain the first level of enlightenment, stream entry. So he returned to Alawi to teach the Dhamma. When the weaver girl heard that the Buddha and a few hundred monks had returned to Alawi, she desperately wanted to go. Father, Father, the Lord Buddha, the Righteous One, the Wise One, the All-Knowing One has returned. Please, please allow me to go see him. Please, Father, please. Her father said, Daughter, you know how much work we have to do. Did you finish winding the thread into spools like I asked you? I need them urgently. When you are done, you can go see the Buddha. The weaver girl started to work quickly, winding thread into spools. She finished spooling the thread, packed it into a basket, and rushed to go see her father at the weaver hut on the other side of the market. As she walked into the market, she saw thousands of people sitting silently. Upon closer inspection, she saw a hundred monks and the Buddha sitting in front of them, everyone in complete silence. Curious, she placed her basket on the ground and sat down. The reason the Buddha had been silent was because he knew, through his divine eye, that no one in the audience would receive lasting benefit from his teachings. He also knew that the weaver girl's life force was soon to be extinguished. So it was vital for her to hear the Dhamma now, and not on the trip back. When the weaver girl saw the Buddha looking at her, she respectfully made her way to him. The Buddha asked her, where have you come from? I don't know, venerable sir. Where are you going? I don't know, venerable sir. Don't you know? Yes, sir, I do know. Do you know? No, sir, I don't know. Hearing her answers, the people in the audience thought she was being disrespectful to the Buddha. The audience began to feel hostile towards her. The Buddha sensed this and asked the weaver girl to explain what she meant by her answers. She said, Since you know I came from home, I assumed your first question to mean, 
Do I know what past existence I came from? Therefore I answered, I don't know. For the second question, I assumed you meant, Did I know what my next rebirth would be? Therefore I answered, I don't know. For the third question, I assumed you meant, Don't I know I will die one day? Therefore I answered, I do know. For the fourth question, I assumed you meant, Do I know when I will die? Therefore I answered, I don't know. The Buddha applauded the girl for her explanation. Then he proceeded to give her a sermon that wove together her identity, past contemplations, and experiences. The Buddha taught her that human life is no different from spools of thread. Whether the thread is long, medium, or short, eventually it will run out. The weaver girl internalized the Dhamma and compared it to herself and her past contemplations on death. She saw that a long threaded spool was like an elderly person who has lived many, many years. Once her time runs out, she will die. She saw that a medium threaded spool was like an older person who has lived many years. Once her time runs out, she will die. She saw that her short threaded spool of thread was like a young girl like her. Once her time runs out, she will die. She saw that just like a short threaded spool could run out, so could her young life. Realizing this, she released attachment to her body and became a Sotapanna, a stream enterer. When she arrived at the weaver shed, she found her father asleep on the weaver seat. When the girl opened the door, her father was startled awake and accidentally launched a shuttle which struck the girl in her chest. She died immediately and was reborn in the Dusita heaven. After losing his daughter, the weaver was heartbroken, eyes brimming with tears. He went to the Buddha to tell him what happened to the weaver girl. The Buddha told him, Worry not, weaver. Your daughter grasped the impermanence of life before she died. Upon death, she immediately went to Dusita heaven. She is a Sotapanna. She is safe from hell rebirths and will achieve enlightenment in an imminent rebirth. The father was consoled. He also realized the uncertainty of life and requested ordination. He was granted ordination and not long afterwards gained full enlightenment as an Arahan. What do you think the moral of this story is? We hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you did, and click subscribe if you want to see our uploads.